All right, so here we go with trans workoutation number two. Our first inefficient form of transportation is going to be the squat walk. So as you can see, you know, lunge once, then go into that squat, lunge with the other leg, and you're gonna repeat this all the way down. As you go, keep good form in that lunge. Don't pound the knee down to the grass or the ground, but uh, have it get all the way down there. And then good form on that squat. Keep that chest up. Get down to 90 degrees on that squat. As you get to the end, you're going to go right into 15 burpees. So these are just four count. We're not going to get too crazy. And so with these, make sure that you are extending all the way back. Legs are straight. And then you're using those arms to launch up into the air. And you're getting air every single time that you, that you jump. The purpose of this workout is that we're going to keep that heart rate elevated the entire time. And remember, I'm showing half of the workout. And so each of these you're going to, when you get back, you're going to go and do it one more time. And so you'll squat walk down, do the burpee, squat walk back, do the taco johns at the other end, and then you'll, uh, you'll do that one more time. Yeah, you're going to feel these, especially here on these you'll really start to feel why the uh, why the squat walks are so it's just an awesome exercise because it really works those quads gets the uh, hamstrings with the with the lunges and so it's a it's a great piece to really work out those legs so if you really want uh, great you want stronger legs in 2014 give up the efficient form of just walking everywhere and start to squat walk see if you can start a trend be a be a leader once again, as you, as you keep going, keep that good form with those lunges and with those squats. Let me get down here. Now, Taco John's, once again, what you're going to do is you're going to do 15 three-count mountain climbers. Going into 15 two-count mountain jacks and then 15 regular push-ups. So Taco John's, one of my clients, we, uh, we check food journals on a consistent basis. And when they have an indiscretion, and it's a really bad one, I like to, uh, to give them their own personal exercise. And uh, they're usually pretty hard. So these are, these are pretty tough. And so it's named after a binge where she went on Taco John's. She had to have it one night, and she knew it was off limits. So uh, it, was, it was a fun little thing that we came up with. So... Get those mountain jacks in there. Keep that butt down. My butt got a little high there at the end. You're going to come here into 15 push-ups. And so if you have to go to those knees, go to those knees. Otherwise, you get done with these. This will be one half of the first set. And so I do my little sign here that will say times two. But... Uh, that's my times two. So go and do that. You'll go back and repeat that again, but I'm going to go into the next, the next form of inefficient transportation, and that is a suicide. So if you probably remember these from, from gym class or if you're on a basketball team doing these, this is uh, having the cones this close together, it gets, it's kind of cumbersome, but you still get the principle. You're, you're up, you're going, you're pushing. You want to go as, as, as fast as you can. Give yourself a chance. As you see here, I'm, I'm still getting warmed up. Don't slip. This will really get that heart rate up and get you ready for some sit-ups. Sit-ups actually feel pretty good after this. Luckily, we don't have burpees or something at the end of this. So sit-ups... Keep those feet, obviously nobody down there to hold you. Hopefully you're doing this with uh, a friend or a group of friends. If you guys want to help hold each other, you can. Otherwise, you can go ahead and just do these on your own. Come all the way up, down, hit those shoulder blades, and get those 15 sit-ups. As I said, it's, kind of, it's actually kind of nice where you uh, it's kind of relaxing after doing suicides and knowing that you have another set of suicides coming up. <clears throat> So you're up, returning the same exact way. So start with suicides. 
and then you have some more abs waiting for you at the end. As you see, I'm going all the way through the cone. I'm not stopping short. And so my follow leg is going all the way down past. I look like kind of a goofball here because uh, I'm not getting a chance to get going very fast, but it's it's good. It's it's pretty much who I am. Cones, you may not have those laying around the uh, the garage or your premises. It doesn't have to be cones. It could be whatever kind of markers. And if you don't have if you don't have an area that's this big, you can go over to a park, whatever. Just be imaginative as far as what those are going to be for your for your suicides. V sits are a little more taxing than a than a sit up, so catch your breath, get ready. But it's ideally, you still want to go in there with your heart rate elevated. Keep those legs straight. The more you can bring those legs up, the better it is. And so, if you have to bring your legs up, if you have to bring your arms up less, it's better. And so, you'll see here in my last couple ones, I realize that. My legs are getting lower and lower as I get tired, and I start to bring them up a little higher here at the end. So those are 15 V-sets. You're going to go, after that, you're going to do another, another suicide down, 15 more sit-ups, suicide back, and 15 more V-sets. I'm going to jump ahead now. For all of you skiers out there, you'll appreciate this. You're going to get your mogul, your mogul muscles on. And so, <clears throat> once again, these are 18-inch cones. It doesn't have to be. You may be a lot more athletic than me, and you can do 36 inch cones, who knows. But uh, whatever it is, have something there where you're gonna go and you're gonna, regardless, even if it's not very high, if it's just a marker on the ground, bring those heels up to that butt every time so you can get a really chance to really explode. And you're gonna keep those, as you bunny hop, keep those feet together, make sure they don't come apart. Go straight into two count jump lunges. Keep those hands off those legs. Keep that chest up. Once again, getting down there, just gonna tickle the grass with that knee. You don't wanna come down too hard. The bunny hop slaloms are they're kind of, uh, they're kind of a, a fun little, different way of getting to and fro. And so uh, it's fun to really get in there and challenge those muscles, get your calves involved, and drill really it's a whole leg as you get into that, uh, that spring where you really make yourself get up there. Really get those arms involved when you're going for that high hop. That will help your uh, efficiency. And then you're going to come back into 15 squats. And so we're kind of taking that squat walk, we're taking it apart, dissecting. And here we go, 15 squats. Have the uh, weight in your butt. You want those, uh, those toes pointing straight ahead, you don't want them pointing out. If you have a hard time putting your Pointing your toes forward is because your calf and your Achilles muscles are, are not very flexible. So think about that. To have good, to have good um, squat form, you want those toes pointing straight forward, that butt dropping straight back, the chest up. And if you're if you can't keep those toes going straight forward, it, you need to work on the flexibility of your calves to get those right. And then you'll be able to have those those feet uh, point straight forward. So our last little thing here, you'll do that one, that last one twice once again. And the last set we're going to do is we're going to do one-legged hops. And once again, you see how I really use those arms as I get into the, uh, the, the cones? So use those arms to get through. Be careful of, your, uh, of, of the different um, ground settings that you're doing these on because you may have some divots and stuff and you're, you're hopping on one foot. You could go down pretty hard. And so be careful that you're... You're right on. Now we're going to go into um, your obliques. So you're going to lay those knees down. And that on this one is my left shoulder. I want to make sure that left shoulder comes off the ground every time. And you're going to feel that on the right side, that right oblique muscle. That's where you'll feel that, uh, that muscle getting worked. 
coming back with the opposite foot. So I came, I went down right footed, coming back left footed, try to go right over the top of the cone. Don't let yourself down and, and go out to the side. And then we're going to end up with doing obliques on the opposite, opposite side. So now I'm going to go to the left. My right shoulder is going to be the one that's going to come up off the ground. <clears throat> this one I got myself in a little goalie, so I'm doing them uphill, makes it a little tougher. As you can see, halfway through this, there's a really good sweat going. It was a nice day when I did out here today. But you remember on each of these, you're going to do these twice. And uh, that is going to be our trans workout station number two. So have fun with it. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.